So here in Studio One, I've got this mix and I'm pretty happy with it, but I do want to try out some alternative ideas. For example, I want to try out some automation on these vocals up here. And I'm not necessarily happy with the drum mix, so I will make some changes to that. But I want to make sure that I'm maintaining both mixes yet in case I change my mind later. So what you might have tried in these circumstances is to save a couple of different file names. Yeah, so I might, might save this current one as, you know, my song uh, mix one yeah and then to make sure I don't lose it with autosave I would go ahead and then save it again as my song mix two yeah and then I could go ahead and make those changes you know automate the vocals like so uh, go down to the drum mix at the bottom here you can see those in green adjust the faders maybe even mute a track or something like that and then I've got both mixes but what if, as I compare these two mixes, I think to myself, you know what, I like the drums in mix one, but I like this new automation on, on the vocals in mix two. How do you go about kind of merging those files together? Well, you really don't need to do that at all, not in Studio One. Hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you're well. So the simple and elegant solution to our problem here in Studio One is to use a feature called Scenes. Now you can access Scenes in the bottom left corner here by clicking on this icon and that reveals our Scenes options. So the first thing we want to do is keep this current mix that we've got here, yeah? So we can just go up to the plus symbol up here, click on that, then give our mix a name we'll call it mix one for example okay and that is saved so I'll go ahead and make those changes that I wanted to make to the vocals with the automation yeah that's cool we've done that and then I'll go ahead and I'll adjust my drums now just to make it super obvious to us what changes are being made I'll select a whole bunch of drum channels here and I'll actually pull those faders all the way down to the bottom yeah probably wouldn't do that in the real mix but we'll easily be able to see what's happening if I do that so again I want to save this new mix so I'll just go up to the plus symbol here and then I will save it as mix two okay so we've got both of our mixes there and then we can just double click on the names to go between the two mixes let's just uh, go up to those vocals so that we can see there's no automation on the vocals here yeah and then when I double click on the mix two we can see the automation there okay so that's the basics of it but what if for example i do think to myself you know what i like the drum mix from mix two where all the faders are down but i don't really like that automation yeah um, i want to have no automation like i had in mix one well that's okay we can mix and match the two just go down to this option here selected channels only yeah and then i'm going to go ahead and i'm actually going to select those vocals so I've got my vocals selected which means when I load up mix one it's going to get rid of that automation because I didn't have any automation on the vocals for mix one so I click on that and that has got rid of the automation and then if we go ahead and look at our drums here we can see all those faders are down still yeah as they were in mix two so we've been able to combine those two mixes but that's not the only way we can filter our choices so I've got another scene saved here and I've called it drums okay and when I open this scene you can see my drums and only my drums okay and the reason for that is because we've got this visible ability check mark checked here for the recall options if I then open up my actual channels here you can see that I've made all of the other channels there invisible okay they're hidden so this visibility option works on that property the hidden property but we've got other recall options here volume pan mute etc you can see all of those they're pretty self-explanatory and the important thing to understand is these are only used when you recall when you load up a mix okay if I go back to the first mix yeah or the second one here and I turn off visibility down here and then I go back to the drums again again it's ignored all the visibility we can still see all of the other channels okay so it's important to understand recall options only apply at the time of recalling they're not saved when you save the actual scene that's pretty much all there is to it for scenes incredibly flexible incredibly easy to use and I hope you've enjoyed this video I'll see you in the next video